going to be okay. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part 2 of making a gown for Rebel. For this video I had hoped it would go a little bit differently but my old phone broke and I lost all the footage of me putting together the transforming military dress that's over here. Um, I'll show you in a minute. So I basically put all that together, had it all filmed, lost all the footage, but now the sequin fabric has arrived and part two is going to be all about the sequin ball gown and then we'll just circle back to the military dress and I'll talk you through it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Look at that. That is so shiny. This is really going to pop. Okay, so now that these are all pinned, let's cut them out. I'm going to be picking sequins out of everything for the next six months. Good morning, we are currently in chaos mode in the Pinky Bar Caravan, we're in full swing, everything's happening, the noise behind me is my computerized embroidery machine doing the appliques for the military jacket for Rebel's gown. Over here, I've got like all the stuff ready to pin together for the bisexual pride ball gown that we're doing. It's in full swing, there's stuff everywhere but we're gonna, we're still gonna make the video because it does not have to be aesthetically pleasing. It is a journey, it is a process, and I'm taking you along with me. She's so sparkly. Look at that. She glows. Okay, so I have all my sequin pieces pinned. I'm ready to sew in all three colors. I watched some other YouTube tutorials on how to like sew sequins, this is my first time working with sequin fabric. I kind of wish I had watched them before I started cutting out everything because there was a lot of tips on how to cut out and like lay out sequin fabric. Um, things like don't pick a complicated pattern with lots of darts and style lines. What did I go and do? Pick a complicated pattern with lots of darts and style lines. Um, they said to like cut everything on a single layer of fabric instead of on the fold. I cut it on the fold. Um, just lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Um, now what I did do, what I did make sure to do as best I can was make sure that everything was running in the same direction so like that all the sequins will sparkle at the same rate. So hopefully when I get it all put together it, it will do that. Um, but yeah, let's let's start sewing it together and see how it looks. Thank you. 
yesterday we got a lot of work done on the sequin ball gown. It was definitely a very exciting experience for me. Um, it seems to be going well in terms of the sequins all looking really shiny and glossy in the same way. I did my best to cut them all out on the nap. I know I was meant to do like a single piece of fabric instead of a fold, but we get there. So today we're just gonna stack the colors on top of each other and hopefully have a dress by the end of it. So I'm thinking it would be the easiest to start from the top down because it's gonna go from like narrow to gradually wider. Um, because I feel like if we go from the bottom up, it might be a bit more difficult to get everything laid out correctly. So we're gonna go pink, then purple, then blue. Hope. This is going to be by far the most difficult point. Low key, this is giving me anxiety right now. But we're gonna just, we're just gonna push through. I think I fixed it. Let's see. There's so much of this. Okay, so it turns out the mistake light that I had extra panels in the blue sequin portion of the skirt and that's why they weren't adding up so I just had to like pick back the extra center back pieces that I had obviously put in by accident so we're back on track now. Okay so we're gonna put it up on the mannequin and see how we're getting on. Um, I know I know for a fact with the amount of hardship I've had with it it's probably not gonna be 100% perfect yet but if the flaws are minor enough we might just get away with it. So we'll just pop this up here. It's quite a heavy dress actually, even though it's just the sequin fabric, but I suppose the sequins would make it heavier. Hmm. I think it needs to be taken in more anyway. I don't think I did the darts quite big enough for this dress. But we will see. Here, so I'll just pick that back and go again. Hey there, this is editor Jess realizing that there was no outro filmed for this video, so I'm about to do it now. If you like this video and you're enjoying the progress of these dresses coming together, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, um, and there will be more coming soon. 
I'm filming the newest video as we speak so yeah stay tuned because we're nearly finished it's all nearly finished and the big reveal will be coming very soon so stay tuned bye